All right, thanks so much, Mia. Well, after years of delays, a construction project on the west side now might have a change of plans. Seven years ago, voters first approved a bond that would approve money for the Las Palmas Library to be renovated. And seven years later, it pretty much looks the same. The night team's Avery Everett walks us through a construction update and how the city says rising construction costs are making project plans change. It's just giving back to the community what the community is investing in. Your face lights up when you talk about this library. I just, I grew up in this area probably a mile away from here. Uh, so I know the value of what it brings to this part of town. Closed down and chained up. This is what the Las Palmas Library looks like off Castroville Road. And it's all because of an ongoing construction project. It's going to be great. People like Delia Ramirez Trimble and Linda Arange have been advocating for this project since 2017. We fought for a long time. But seven years later, it looks almost the same. Renovations for the library are backed by two different bond projects. One in 2017 and the other in 2022. District 5 says about 80% of the 2017 bond project is complete. But now modifications are being made to the original 2022 bond project. When we heard that, it was like, oh no. But again, what can we do? The city held a meeting this week for neighbors to hear updates on construction. The news kind of was all bad. Neighbors say the biggest concern is prices. The city says the bond budget for the project is no longer enough to cover everything. And the project is going to take longer. While the list of changes was vague, what we gather is that the revisions include removing a bathroom, window and ceiling changes to the plaza area, and deleting storage and support space for a meeting room. Neighbors say they want more details. Driving by, some neighbors say it's even hard to recognize that this is the Las Palmas Library. Obviously, it's temporarily closed right now, but it's also worn down. And this sign shows that. Take a look at some of this peeling right here. And that's why neighbors say they're so determined to stay on top of this project. If you look around this area, you're not going to see bowling alleys. You're not going to see theaters. You're not going to see a whole lot of the things that a lot of other areas of the city have. But this is a wonderful library. Boards may be up. But spirits here across Las Palmas are not yet broken. The proposed design changes have to be approved by the library's board of trustees, and that meeting will be held on March 27th at 4.30 p.m. here at the McCrellis Branch Library. As far as how long the Las Palmas location is going to be closed, they are expecting it to reopen in early 2025. Avery Everett, KSAT 12 News. Hello, everybody. Stefania Jimenez here. Thank you so much for watching KSAT's YouTube channel. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.